How's it going, world? Hope you're well, hope you're safe, hope you've had a good few days. Uh, my apologies for no video yesterday. Uh, some situations came up, needed dealing with, and uh, we're right back on it today. Okay, so last time we went over rule number 18, which was think yourself happy. Okay, now, I don't know if you're aware of the law of attraction. Okay, get aware. Yeah, like the law of attraction is basically like a quantum physical law of the universe. Yeah, now I know that sounds probably very big and intimidating. Like, what the fuck is he on about? Right, very, very simple. Works like magnets. Okay, everything in the universe. Yeah, everything in the world, like us ourselves, the, the book, the rules of thinking with Richard Templar. Right, let me take the bookmark out. Like, Everything, yeah, is in a constant state of motion, okay? Now, when the book's sat down on the table, still, obviously, we can't physically see it moving. But if we get a microscope, the electrons that make up the atoms and the molecules of this book, they're orbiting around the protons and the neutrons. So, it's more at a constant state of vibration, yeah? Now, everything in existence vibrates at its own frequency, okay? Human beings, we can control the frequency that we vibrate at by our thoughts and feelings, okay? So, the more you focus on positive thoughts, the more, the more you focus on positive situations and people and just positivities in your life, the more you give gratitude for those things, the more of those positive things you'll see reoccurring in your life. Okay, it's called the attitude of gratitude. It works really well with the law of attraction. Okay, if all of that's just kind of gone over your head and it doesn't really make any sense, that's fine. My apologies. Just check out the law of attraction. Do a bit of Googling. Watch some videos on YouTube. Yeah, there's a great book slash documentary film called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. Okay, and it's currently on Netflix in the UK. Yeah, so definitely give that a watch. Read the book. It's not very dear, yeah, and it's very simple and easy reading as well. So definitely recommend that. So let's get into rule number 19. Focus focus on other people. I'm curious to see what Richard's got to say today. So in a way, this rule follows on from the last because one of the best ways to avoid self-pity is not to think about your own problems too much. Don't sit at home moping. Get out there and think about other people's problems instead. Hmm. We all have friends and acquaintances who are going through hard times. Think about how you can help, what support they might need. It might be practical or just be a listening ear. You could drive them to their hospital appointment, do their shopping for them, help them with their CV, look after their kids for a day, help get their report written on time, or they might just appreciate a phone call every week or an evening out so they can talk through their problems. Okay, so I'm smiling because this is, <laughs> the timing of this is actually quite eerie. It's a bit weird. And for my people watching, like, if you know, you know, in it. Like, th this is, okay. This is a great distraction for you and a big support to them. And it's so much more than that too. When you help other people, it puts your own troubles in perspective and it makes you feel good about yourself. That builds your self-esteem because you feel worthwhile, rightly. And over time, that helps you to feel more positive and better able to cope with your own hardships. You're not limited to looking around your own group of friends to find someone who needs a bit of bolstering. Lots of people volunteer with charities or other groups in order to focus on other people and be genuinely useful while making themselves feel good at the same time. Almost all of us have some time to do this if we want to. You might have to give up regular visits to the gym or the odd night out with your friends or the odd night in with the TV. We can all tell ourselves we have no spare time, but that's usually because we've chosen to fill it up. You can choose how you fill your time and you can give up one thing to make room for another. You have to decide which makes you happier in the long term. That's completely true, Richard. I'll agree with that 100%. That's completely true. We've, we've, got, we've all got the same 24 hours in, in the day, yeah? 
but it's up to us what we do with those 24 hours and how we use them. So 100%. If you decide to do this, and I really recommend it, you can give up anything from an hour a week to as much time as you like. You can pick a role with little responsibility or one with a great deal. You might spend an hour one evening a week helping at a local sports club or put in several days a year as a school governor. You could organise a jumble sale or just help run one of the stalls. You could even find a role where you only help at certain times of year, volunteering at the local half marathon or an old person's home Christmas party. The more people focus, the better. It's fine to spend time at home stuffing envelopes for a good cause, but to get the full benefit of volunteering, you also need to interact with the people you're supporting. Remember, this will help you as much as it helps them. It's a win-win. It takes you out of yourself and gives you a huge positive boost that you can then carry over into the rest of your life. There. See? You haven't thought about your own problems for nearly two pages. Ha! <laughs> Clever! That was well done, Richard. I like that. That was clever. The moral of the story, it makes you feel good about yourself. Focus on other people. I like that. The timing of that is, is eerie. That, that's funny. Okay, cool. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your interpretations. Pop up in the comments. Let's talk about it. And also, if you've watched right to the end so far, and you've seen previous videos as well, yeah? I want to know, what's your favourite rule so far? Let me know in the comments. Give me a like, share, subscribe. Uh, please share with anyone you think might find it useful. And I'll catch you tomorrow for the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.